Hi guys. Not sure what's happening with my computer, but uh, things may slow. I don't know. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to start with this Taos, New Mexico, August 12, 2018. There was an all day symposium on 5G. 5G. Click on the link below and listen to 34 minutes and 23 seconds of Arthur Furstenberg, who discusses the history, science, and description of 5G, including 5G from satellites and space, and its expected effects on all living things. Why don't we just listen to just a few minutes together? Ready? Here we go. How many of you here today own a cell phone? Raise your hands. How many of you do not own a cell phone? Raise your hands. More than I thought. Do you know the story about the monkey in the jar of peanuts? The monkey puts his hands in the jar and grabs a fistful of peanuts. He doesn't realize that if he only opens his fist and lets go of the peanuts, his hand will come out easily. But then he wouldn't get the peanuts, so he holds on. He never gets to eat the peanuts, and his fist is stuck in the jar forever. The peanuts are cell phones. Most people on this planet have a jar of peanuts with their fist in the jar, and they won't let go. If they think about it at all, they want the cell towers to go away. They don't want 5G. They don't want 20,000 satellites in the sky. They don't want to be irradiated, but they won't take their hand out of that jar. It doesn't occur to them that once, not too long ago, there were no peanuts in the jar and there were no cell towers and they did not forget their words and their friends did not have cancer and heart disease and diabetes. And their children did not have ADHD or autism. And flowers were full of butterflies and bees. If you hold a cell phone in your hand, against your head, your brain is getting 100,000 times more radiation from the cell phone than it probably gets from the nearest cell tower. If you put the cell tower on a table three feet away, you're only getting 10 times more radiation from the cell tower than you're getting from the cell, from the cell phone than you're getting from the cell tower. In order for you to ha own a cell phone, that tower has to be there. In order for you to make a cell phone call, that tower has to open up a dedicated channel just for you and it has to irradiate the entire countryside just so you can make that call and irradiate not only your own brain but everyone around you. Those of you who own cell phones, do you ever wonder when you're on your phone who you are irradiating, who you are torturing? In order for you to answer a call on your phone, that cell tower has to open up a dedicated channel just for you and irradiate the countryside and all the people and birds and animals and trees and insects just so you can answer that call. And if you want to be able to use your cell phone in emergencies and remote locations, there have to be cell towers absolutely everywhere. And if you want to be able to connect to the internet with your cell phone, and everybody in the world wants to connect to the internet with their cell phone, the existing towers don't have enough capacity, so they have to build more of them. The more devices there are in the internet, the more towers. As we progress from 1G to 2G to 3G to 4G to 5G, we also progress from having a cell tower on a mountaintop 90 miles away to having a cell tower on a lamppost outside your bedroom window. 1G is what we had in the 19, 9, 1980s 
and until 1996. The phones were large, not many people had them, and the cell towers were few and very far between, mostly around metropolitan areas. The few people who used cell phones lost many brain cells, and some got brain cancer. But the general population was not much affected. Analog signals are smooth sine waves, continuous waves. Each frequency can only serve a single cell phone user. 2G is digital. Digital means pulsed. Everything is encoded into zeros and ones. 2G came to the US in late 1996. The telecommunications industry wanted to put a cell phone into the hands of every man, woman, and child on Earth. And in order to do that, they needed a much denser network of cell towers. And they needed them everywhere, not just in metropolitan areas, but in small towns, forests, wildlife refuges, wilderness areas, and national parks. They sold these phones as being necessary for emergencies. And they could not sell them unless they could assure people they would work wherever they lived and wherever they traveled. 2G was digital for two reasons. First, each frequency could be used simultaneously by many users. They could divide a single frequency into time slots, one time slot per user instead of one frequency per user. Or they could assign a different digital code to different users of the same frequency. So they didn't need quite so many towers if they were digital. Second, they wanted all cell phones to be able to save and store information that could be downloaded onto a computer. 2G caused enormous health problems. It injured millions. It caused the influenza epidemic of 1996 through 1997. It killed at least 10,000 in the United States in a matter of months, according to statistics from the Centers for Disease Control. I am a refugee from 2G technology. Okay. Um, <clears throat> click on the link below. You can start it at 6 minutes and 41 seconds. That's where I just stopped it. You know what? Um, this, this world that has manifested already is so unbelievably sick, twisted, and evil, and we just have to put up with it. We just have to put up with it. We've got to suck it up and somehow figure out how to survive in this world. How many of you have a smartphone? I bet a lot. Why do you have a smartphone? You are, quote unquote, awake. Why do you have a smartphone? Why are you irradiating yourself and those around you when you use that smartphone? What I have really noticed in the last couple of years is that Americans are suicidal. They just simply are suicidal. Even when they know that they are using a product that can give them cancer, that can hurt their eyes, that can create so many different health effects, biological effects, they'll continue to use it. And not only are they suicidal, they don't care about their children, they don't care about their friends, they don't care about those around them because they continue to use these phones everywhere and they do not care that when they use that phone, when they turn it on, when they, when they make a call, or when they answer a call, those frequencies are, well, it's kind of like secondhand smoke. They're affecting others. Now, my research back in like 2011, it showed that the frequencies, when people use their cell phones, 
affect everyone within a three foot diameter around them, radius around them. My hunch, these smartphones, far more damaging. Why do people use products that they know will harm them? Okay, they don't care. You know, I, I, this is, is everybody addicted? Is that what it is? Because I certainly understand addiction. Are you addicted to using a smartphone? You can't let it go. You have your, your hand in that peanut jar and you can't let that go to get your hand out of the peanut jar. So you're not free. All right. I listen guys, you know, 6 years of doing this virtually every single day. Um and 6 years, you know, I'm just kind of demarcating the time that I came on YouTube and I will tell you what has happened just in six years is extraordinary, remarkable. The American public have more apathy, are sicker physically and mentally, and, and there is almost a, a lack of care and compassion that is notable just in that short period of time. Now, that's not a scientific study, obviously, but that's just my observation of what's going on with our American people. And no matter how much information you have, they don't want to hear it. They do not want to hear it. So many people are really looking forward to 5G because their, well, the internet on their smartphones will be faster. That's all they care about. We're getting killed by this technology. It's killing life itself. And we can't seem to put it down. It's very... And for those of us who are affected, those of us who are electromagnetically sensitive we just we have to live suffering every single day so you guys who are not suffering acutely acutely I say that because oh these frequencies are making your body suffer and eventually if you haven't already come down with some kind of physical affliction, you will, because these frequencies affect every cell in your body. 2G, 3G, 4G. Oh, 5G is going to be really explosive in terms of what happens to the American people with their physical health. Now, when you think about the exponential increase in so many diseases, cancer, autism, um, uh, my God, ADHD, all the mental illnesses, but virtually every physical disease syndrome has been exponentially increasing. And can you get an American to consider that, to think about that? Oh, what's happening? Maybe something's happening with our environment. I haven't seen a butterfly this, this whole summer. I have not seen one butterfly. butterfly. I've seen a few bees, wasps, really. Um, I saw one, two, three, maybe three bees pollinating, you know, the little, uh, I don't, I can't remember, what are they called? The, the little flowers that grow, you know, uh, in grass. While I was just sitting there at the track, three bees. 
It's visible. Look at the trees. I drive around. And the rapidity with which the trees here in Anderson, South Carolina are, di are dying. They're so... They look ill. Fungal disease on now virtually every tree. You can see all of the dead trees in, in amongst the trees that are struggling to stay alive. Every tree you can see right through. Why? Because the leaves are very little, very small, and well, there's a lot of dead branches on the trees. They're not growing anything. You can see through virtually every single tree here because they no longer can produce the full foliage that they used to. The sky has been completely and utterly altered. The best that we can do on a non-mountain cloud or chemtrail day is a, well, the closer you look at the sun, the more white the sky becomes. Then looking away from the sun, all you see is a very faint blue-gray sky. No more dark blue. Everything is visible now. But where the hell are the American people? Too self-centered to look up from that friggin' cell phone and think about anything beyond themselves. And you know what? People need to be told that at this point. This is so outrageous. Now, 5G PC Magazine. I want to thank the subscriber who sent this along. They posted this article, August 22nd, 2018. PC Magazine is writing, 5G? Well, if you read the barrage of scary literature about 5G, it's a bad bet, right? It's a bad bet because so little is known about the effects of the Miller meter wave, 30 to 300 gigahertz. While these frequencies only per permeate, a small fraction of the human epidermis and so this journalist clearly has not done any research because he kind of like you know just shrugs that off okay so it only affects a small fraction of the human epidermis the effect of that well I'll show you in a second but the effect on the cornea mm, in particular needs serious research well, it certainly does, because 5G can induce cataracts, but so can 4G and 3G. So, with this millimeter wave coming out, 5G on top of, oh, 4G and 3G, and all of these gadgets that we have, and the smart meters, and the, and, and the Wi-Fi, and the cell phone towers, no, they're not getting rid of any of that. It'll be 5G on top of. We're talking about a mass explosion of dangerous frequencies that will be very close by your homes, your bodies, your children. That we still have Wi-Fi in schools, that parents haven't just rushed down to their children's public schools and demanded the cell towers be removed from school property. Why did they park them in school, on school property? The school gets money, money, money. I'm sick of this money. Everybody, that is the value of the American people. We value money. On the whole, don't get, you know, all bent out of shape. But if you're getting bent out of shape, then I would say that you're not, you don't really have an accurate picture of the American people. It is absolutely true. And because that's the only thing that we value, 
it is a big factor in how this nightmare manifested. Oh, do I sound a little upset? I have to live this. I have to live with the smart meters and the Wi-Fi in neighbors' apartments and the cell phone towers all over the place and the Gwen towers. I have to live affected by dangerous frequencies. Now, the people that I talk to around here, not one of them is well. Not one of them can say that they're in good health. Oh no, they're coming down with so many different symptoms and diagnosed with so many different things. But they're on their cell phone. Oh yeah, I drive you know, out of this parking, uh, out of this apartment complex, and I go through the the parking area, and I see there's a group of people huddled together, and what are they doing? Their faces are about a foot from their cell phone. They're all sitting together, and they're all staring at their cell phones. I've told people here about uh, these frequencies emitted from their cell phones, do they care? No. No. They don't care. Their symptoms may very well be directly related to the Wi-Fi in their apartments and the cell phones that they can never put down. Do they care? No. So if they don't care about themselves, they, they sure as hell are not going to be caring about anybody else. I mean, even just a little bit of care w would go a long way. So the 5G frequencies pour at traveling long distances. They need a transmitter on nearly every telephone pole and light pole to make 5G work. 5G is already getting some bad publicity which could result in everything from bans on the technology to equipment destruction by vigilantes. Okay, um, I say, and I hope I'm wrong, but I say none of that is going to happen. None of it. None of it. 5G is going to go up, and, um, oh, we might have a vigilante, one or two, you know, that take down the the antennas of 5G, but look, we have cell towers, we've got Gwen towers all over the place. Littered is our country. Littered. Has anybody taken any of those down? No. We know that they're weapons. They're weapons being used against us already. They have been for years, they still are, and what do we do? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Well, we unfortunately don't have the numbers necessary. So, if any of us had people in the area where we live and we organized and we got together and took down a cell tower, all of the people in our area, well, they'd be bitching and complaining. You interrupted my cell phone service. I couldn't get on the internet for a couple of hours. How dare you? But they're weapons. I don't care. I just want to get on the internet with my cell phone, my smartphone. But these are weapons being used against you. So what? I don't care. They're collecting all of the data that you input into that smartphone. Who cares? I'm not doing anything wrong. Who cares? Wow. You're affecting my health. <laughs> Who cares? You know, if we had the numbers, I believed this six years ago, and I believe it now. If we had the numbers, we could absolutely affect change. But the American people are in such bad condition. 
physically, mentally, spiritually, gone, um, emotionally, everything. Little children wanting their toys, the smartphone, and shut up, let me, you know, play my games. I see a lot of adults playing games on their cell phones. Just give me my games. God, I'm, you know, it's really this, what the hell? Yeah, I am really sick of my fellow two-legged. That's where the destruction is coming from, guys. Oh, don't blame, don't blame the American people. They're good, Carol. No, they're not. No, they're really not. There are some, but they're really not good people. Five G is already gaining some bad publicity, which could result in everything from bans. You think that's going to happen? No. Why? Well, you have people that go to their town hall meetings and try to fight the telecommunications industry from putting up the 5G cell antennas all over their communities in front of their homes. They don't have the numbers in their community to fight it, but I've seen town hall meetings, the videos posted on YouTube, and some of them are really filled up. And then you got those few town council, you know, the president and the members of the town council, and they're barely listening to those that they're supposed to be representing. And then they take a vote and they vote, yay, telecommunications industry, you can do it. Now, communities get money from the telecommunications industry. Money, 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 money. Don't care if it's going to kill you. We get money, but they should be listening to you. So when they don't listen to you, you should all be standing up and going right smack into the face of these people who don't listen to you and vote against what you want. Remove them from office. Don't sit around waiting to vote them out. Demand. You know, Americans are very, very nice. Are they really nice and polite or are they scared to confront? We've got a war going on. These frequencies are used as a weapon against us. So, knowing that and knowing, all right, forget about knowing that they're weapons being used against us. There are so many people who understand the health effects of this electromagnetic um, Wi-Fi world that has manifested 24-7 living in this saturation of dangerous frequencies. They understand the health effects. That alone should make people a little bit outraged. Outrage. Yeah. And that alone should knock out nice, polite, and demand. You get in the face, you demand that your representatives in your community actually listen and vote the way you want them to vote. And most of these town hall meetings you have very few supporters of 5G or any of the other, you know, cell phone towers. Very few supporters. So these town council members are going against their, the residents that they represent. And <laughs> so Americans just, okay, we lost. Oh, well, you know, the only way that anything is going to change is if people change. If people change. 
get away from the idea that confrontation, oh, that's not approved of. We can't confront people. Are you kidding? I'm going to be thought of as not nice. People are going to abandon me. Uh, you know, they count on your stupidity. They count on your naivete. They count on you being very nice and polite. This is what allows them to do whatever the hell they want to do. So, grow a pair, shall I say? So here, the, the author of this article, it always figures that the stupid public will buy into anything new and jazzy if it makes their handheld phone seem a little faster and even pay more for the privilege of the upgrade. Yay! Stupid. Stupid. And any of you who are awake, still using that smartphone, really, come on. Knowing what they can do with these smartphones, knowing what the frequencies can do to you, and you're still using them, I really hope that you do a little bit of hmm, reevaluation in terms of what you are doing. Active denial system, 5G. Okay, forget about the health effects. Our government, along with Trump, the telecommunications industry, and our military is setting up an active denial system in our country. Active denial system allows the military to, and the active denial system operates on the millimeter wave, 5G. If they don't like what you're doing, bada boom, they can kill you. They can burn you. They can lock you into um, designated spaces and keep you held prisoner. They can seal off oh those gated communities. Oh, they don't need the gates anymore. These frequencies will allow no trespass. You know, this is what's going up in our country. The active denial system. The active denial system is being erected in our country, all over. It's remarkable how much Americans will just deny, ignore, uh, pretend it just doesn't exist, or uh, just maintain that delusion in their head. They, our government would never ever do anything like that to us, because they're really sweet. Scientists warn of potential serious health effects of 5G. We, the undersigned, more than 180 scientists and doctors from 35 countries recommend a moratorium on the rollout of the fifth generation 5G for telecommunication until potential hazards for human health and the environment have been fully investigated by scientists independent from industry. 5G will substantially increase exposure to radio frequency electromagnetic fields and on top of the 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, etc. for telecommunications already in place. Radio frequency electromagnetic fr frequency has been proven to be harmful for humans and the environment. 5G leads to massive increase of mandatory exposure to wireless radiation. Your children, your grandchildren, you should be outraged that this is going on. Your dogs, your cats, wildlife, bees, butterflies, eventually we won't see any of them. Birds, all, everything gets affected by this. Everything gets affected. Everything. You are living in a war zone. That's what this country has become, a war zone. 5G wireless technology, millimeter wave health effects. Everything I will link to below. Hope you circulate. 
the information. Oh, you never have to circulate my videos, I know. Oh, Carol, you just sound so whatever, fill in the blank. But frankly, considering the health effects that I experience from just this technology, don't you think people deserve to, first of all, <laughs> to be outraged when their health is declining because people just want to talk on the phone wherever they are the electromagnetically sensitive are actual refugees having to sell their homes some are actually living in their cars in isolated places to get away from this technology? Do they not have a right to be outraged that the quality of their life has been so destroyed because of a product and industry making billions and they're surrounded by an awful lot of people who either don't believe them or don't give a shit. This is not the way life was supposed to turn out, right? Aren't we the caring, compassionate people? The, the strong and the courageous? Miller meter waves are mostly observed within one to two millimeters of human skin and in the surface layers of the cornea. The skin or near surface zones of tissues are the primary targets of the radiation since skin contains capillaries and nerve endings. The millimeter wave bioeffects may be transmitted through molecular mechanisms by the skin or through the nervous system. Thermal or heating effects, temperature elevation can impact the growth morphology and metabolism of cells induce production of free radicals, damage DNA, deployment of 5G, the infrastructure, much of the nation will be exposed to millimeter waves for the first time on a continuous basis and there have been few studies that examined prolonged exposure to low intensity millimeter waves. I posted a video not too long ago. The Nation posted or published an article. It was based on an investigation, actual investigative journalist, who found that cell phones were put on the market without our government doing any kind of safety study. We just, oh yeah, okay, you say it's a safe telecommunications industry, so we'll accept that. Put it on the market. Oh, but the telecommunication industry, they had actually funded some studies. Oh, and they wanted to uh, keep a lid on the results. Cancer. Cancer. Cell phones, cancer. That's what those studies showed an increased risk in cancer, tumors in the brain. And you know what? I post these videos and I don't really read too much outrage. You know, is anybody circulating this information? Did anybody talk to your friends and your family about what you learned from that Nation article? Cell phones put on the market are safe and we're just told that it's safe when studies that were concealed from the public showed an increased risk of tumors in the brain and cancer. Okay, outrage is really appropriate. Now, I'm still just going to use my cell phone. Amazing. So, for all of 
those who do nothing, don't circulate information, don't try to get across to your friends and your family, and you're still using a smartphone, well, you can't say that you really care about what's taking place. Care is not a word. It's an action. It's an action. And you can see what people care about as you observe them act in the world. A large number of cellular studies have indicated that millimeter wave may alter structural and functional properties of membranes. Millimeter waves may affect the plasma membrane either by modifying ion channel activity or by modifying the um, phospholipid bilayer. This was a review of the research in 2010. Water molecules also seem to play a role in these effects. Skin nerve endings are a likely target of millimeter waves and the possible starting point of numerous biological effects. Millimeter waves may activate the immune system through stimulation of the peripheral neural system. In 1998, five scientists employed by U.S. Army and Air Force Research Institutes published a seminal review of the research on millimeter waves. They reported increased sensitivity and even hypersensitivity of individual specimen, specimens to millimeter wave that it may be real. Oh, do we have individual sensitivity or hypersensitivity to 4G, 3G, 2G? Yes, we do. And the World Health Organization recognized it. Other countries recognize it. What's the country that has recognized it as a disability? Is it Denmark? Is it Nor I don't is it Norway? I don't I don't think it's Norway. I don't know. But you know, Israel does not allow Wi Fi in schools. Oh, because they oof uh, they don't want anything happening to their to the brains of the young in Israel. But hey, let's Let's put Wi-Fi and all of those Wi-Fi routers in every single classroom and let's get away from physical books and have our children stare at their iPods or pads or whatever and let's get them to do their homework on computers and many, many of them have to have Wi-Fi at home in order to get their um, assignments. Yeah, let's destroy American children. But it's not just Israel. Other countries, France, said, okay, we're going to use the precautionary principle here. Too many studies have shown that this Wi-Fi is dangerous and is especially dangerous for the young because the young, their, their brains have not fully developed and their skulls are softer than adult skulls and those frequencies get right inside their brain much more easily. Yes, let's fry American children's brains. That's what we're doing. That's what we are doing. It's one thing to do it to yourself as an adult and then do it to other adults around you. But how dare, how dare people do this to children when they have no voice, power, or decision-making ability to say, you know what? I ain't going to this public school until you get rid of Wi-Fi. No, they, they're forced. They're forced. Monday through Friday, have to go into environments that are dangerous. This has been going on way too long, guys. Way too long. And, well, I'll speak for myself. I see no change happening. And, Well,
I, you know, I'm not just going to fold because everybody's either apathetic or too scared to speak out or, you know, whatever the hell it is. I don't want, I do not want to just lose my care. When I think about the kids, man, wow. How dare we as adults inflict them with so many poisons. And then you look at the condition of their parents. Jesus. They're sick, twisted adults. Sorry. How could they be anything other than that? They inject their children with poisons. They allow doctors to inject their children with dangerous poisons. They send them off into dangerous environments, schools. They put them on dangerous medications because, oh, well, all of that Wi-Fi in their home and at school, studies have shown. Kids can become ADHD, but you're not going to link that, right? No, the environmental causes of ADHD. Uh-uh. You can now put them on psychiatric medications because they're mentally ill. Do you know how quickly all of this has happened? And when you see how quickly a society has changed, you can bet that change was a deliberate engineering brought on by man. It's not just a natural organic um, evolution of society because that happens very slowly. So they're killing off children. They're killing us off. They're killing off wildlife. They're killing off insects and all of this is necessary for our ecosystem necessary even for the two-legged to live and how many people actually care and I will tell you there's an awful lot of awake people that really don't and they're just going on you know, maybe it's the normalcy bias. I, I don't know. What the hell. But they're just going on, living their life. Who cares? You know, I'm going to die soon and I'm going to go up to heaven. Or I'm just going to die soon and I don't have to worry about all of this. Um, everything is me, 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 me. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Of course I'm sick of it. I have to live the effects of this. And so do all of you. And to have to suffer the consequences of everything that's going on, and then you bring it to other people and they just don't care. You know, I don't know, they're nihilist, they're suicidal, they're, you know, um, whatever it is, their response is wrong and their response hurts other people and people should get angry at them and they should be called out and of course I'm going to be feeling this way more and more people are going down I hear from subscribers who can't get out of bed I hear from subscribers whose home was burned up, whose home was flooded. You know, this is a war. And the large majority of even the awake are just walking around. I don't know. Well, so what? We're at war. <sighs> Gotta go on my smartphone to watch YouTube videos, get the knowledge that I don't do anything with. Obviously, guys, you know, 
I am not. <laughs> I don't care. Unsub me if you don't like what I have to say. If you don't like my tone, tone, you know, I, I'm I I could care less about numbers. We are at war. Jesus. And nobody can seem to even, even, you know, uh, manage the slightest change in their behavior, in what they do, and how they live. I've seen it. Sorry, guys, the American people really live, uh, they're psychotic or delusional. They're delusional. They believe things that are so obviously not true about themselves. Bacteria and other cells might communicate with each other by electromagnetic field of sub extremely high frequency range. Uh, the millimeter wave affects, oh, I can't even think of, uh, E. coli and many other bacteria, mainly depressing the growth and changing properties and activity. These effects were non-thermal and depended on different factors. The significant cellular targets of millimeter wave effects could be water, cell plasma membrane, and genome genome, the consequences of 5G interaction with bacteria are the changes in their sensitivity to different biologically active chemicals, including antibiotics. That's why I read that. I posted a video uh, not too long ago about how 5G interacts with that bacteria and it makes us all antibiotic resistant antibiotic resistant. Even with the variety of bio effects reported, no studies have provided evidence that a low intensity microwave uh, millimeter wave radiation represents a health hazard for human beings. Actually, none of the reviewed studies with low intensity millimeter wave even pursued the evaluation of health risks. Health risks. Our former FCC chairman, Tom Wheeler, came out. His announcement, we're not going to study this. We're not going to regulate it. We're just going to push it out. And what did the American people do? Nothing. Crickets. Crickets. Oh, the lovely sound of crickets. Such Miller meter wave effects. Uh, alterations of cell growth rate. UV light sensitivity, biochemical and antibiotic resi resistivity, changes in pathogenic bacteria, as well as many others, are of potential significance for safety standards, but even local and short-term exposures were reported to produce marked effects. It should also be realized that biological effects of prolonged or chronic millimeter wave exposure of the whole body or a large body area have never been investigated. In sum, the peer-reviewed research demonstrates that short-term exposure to low-intensity millimeter wave radiation not only affects human cells, it may result in the growth of multi-drug resistant bacteria harmful to humans. And you know damn well that they are going to lie when so many humans begin to come down with all of these viruses and whatever, oh, and the antibiotics just don't work. Just don't work. Since little research has been conducted on the health consequences for a long-term exposure to millimeter waves, widespread deployment of 5G wireless infrastructure constitutes a massive experiment that may have adverse impacts on the public's health. And I will tell you, may? No, it will. Because we've already seen 
the impact of 4G, 3G, 2G, and more and more. Oh, the numbers of those sensitive to this frequency world that has manifested. Oh, it's just increasing and increasing and increasing. And those are the people who know that they're sensitive. If you took all of the people who were coming down with this disease, this syndrome, uh, these undiagnosed diseases, fibromyalgia, chronic physical pain, um, chronic fatigue, if you took all of the people who were affected by these frequencies and they don't know it, the numbers would be extraordinary. Extraordinary. Just because people don't attribute how they feel to the cell tower, to the smart meter, to the Wi-Fi in their home, to their smartphones, to all of it, doesn't mean that these frequencies aren't causing it. Just because you don't see the frequencies doesn't mean that they're not penetrating your body and affecting every cell. And the effect is detrimental. I will link below to this article that gives an awful lot of uh, very good information and sites and um, you got the studies. I will link below to airport passenger screening using millimeter wave machines. Wow. Okay. All of you going through those airports. Our interactions with the environment, including, for example, seeing, hearing, feeling, to communicate orally, uh, requires external energy. When you mess with that external energy, all of that stuff goes awry. Essentially, all chemical and mechanical processes involve work and energy. The majority of that energy comes to Earth from the sun in the form of electromagnetic waves. Now, we have artificial electromagnetic waves coming at us every direction, and we happily take those electromagnetic waves that are artificial, very dangerous, and we just put them right smack in front of our face. Ain't that great? Health effects. Not going to read it, but I will link to it. Uh, yeah. Well, the health effects to the skin, to the eyes, to the eyes, cataracts, exponential increase once that 5G gets rolled out and starts operating. Isn't that great? Human skin. Well, problem there is the epidermis and dermis are the most affected skin structures. However, with regard to heating effects, it has been observed that heating from exposure is not limited to the depth of energy deposition, but may occur at slightly greater depths. So, that 5G antenna right outside your home and then as you're walking down the street, you're passing all of these millimeter waves. Your skin acts as an antenna. And your skin is going to be pulling these frequencies right smack into your body. Oh, yes. And let's not forget the National Toxicology Program of the National Institutes of Health, the $25 million study and the results, which was two types of cancer cells grew, grew, and it was significantly, statistically significant. But do people care about that? Nope, nope, nope. 
Um, our results demonstrate a strong effect of micro um, millimeter wave <coughs> wave stimulation on the activity of three key proteins involved in neuronal excitability. In all cases, irradiation resulted in an acceleration of kinetics and or an increase in activity. The combined effects on sodium and potassium channels resulted in a large increase in AP firing frequency in a model neuron. Millimeter wave stimulation increased the temperature of our preparation by several degrees. Increased water, oh, uh, water molecules and all that, oh, millimeter wave, very detrimental are the effects. And this um, is thermal mechanisms of millimeter wave stimulation of excitable cells. Studies have shown that millimeter wave exposure alters, alters cellular function, especially in neurons and muscles. And if you want to read more, you can. So the millimeter wave, listen to this, it affects the voltage-gated potassium and sodium channels. <gasps> the microwave, you know that 4G? They affected the voltage-gated voltage calcium channels. So, 5G is on top of, not, it's not replacing. So we've got the voltage-gated calcium channel effects from 4G, and 5G is going to bring on the voltage-gated potassium and sodium channels effects. Is this good? No. It's really not good at all. At all. So many of us struggle every single day to keep going. Please don't. Do not leave me a comment telling me to relax, telling me to calm down, telling me I'm one of those people who struggle every day to keep going. And I'm tired of it. And I hear from a lot of people who are really tired of it. The biological effects of millimeter waves. You can buy the book and read all about it. This little, little bit, these two pages, hmm. This has very far reaching consequences. For it follows that biological systems may at times be in a state of excitation in which they are highly sensitive to the particular radiation. There's a reason why some are sensitive and some are not. Those who are not, it doesn't mean that you're not being affected in a detrimental way. You just can't feel it. So those who are hypersensitive, those who are sensitive, we're the canary in the coal mine. Oh, but you know what? So many of the canaries have already died, and many of the canaries are dying. It is absolutely 100% insane. Insane what has happened to the world, and that we allow it makes us insane. And here, electrical engineering knows, of course, instruments that perform in this way. A radio is an example in which extremely weak radiation can cause very strong effects, provided it is appropriately tuned. Biological systems have not developed in order to react to weak microwave radiation. The conclusion is then required that they themselves make use of electrical vibrations in the relevant frequency region and that therefore they may be influenced by the appropriate radiation. In other words, what this is saying is individuals may be greatly affected by even just the microwaves. Oh, ratchet it up to the millimeter wave. 
biological effects of millimeter wave irradiation. Um, what happened? Well, there were four obvious observations on studies with mice. Irradiating mice with the millimeter wave at 60 gigahertz. Millimeter wave, 30 to 300 gigahertz. So, what were those four observations? There is an individual sensitive sensitivity to 60 gigahertz waves. There is individual sensitivity. Sensitiveness is what they write here. The survival of mice um, grafted with particular cells could be increased. The growth of Lewis tumor. Lewis tumor? Lewis tumor was enhanced. What's a Lewis tumor? Dr. Margaret Lewis is named after the doctor who discovered this particular lung carcinoma. Cancer. The tumor was enhanced. And the activity of Swiss mice was increased. Uh, Swiss, what, what's Swiss mice? They were healthy mice. Uh, the activity was, okay, so we're going to see yet another explosion of ADHD, especially in children. Ain't that great? And how many of them are going to be living in homes with 5G, with their parents, addicted to their cell phones, ignoring their children? What a fabulous world we've created. All links are below. Yeah, I have not slept well. How long? I can't even remember. I live with chronic physical pain. Um, I have so many symptoms, and I know that so many of you do as well. Yes, when your quality of life, when your health, when everything begins to decline, to decrease, um, your basic functioning is at a point where it's scary for a lot of us. How do we go on? Is what a lot of us are asking now. How do we do this? There's many who are really alone and do not have any help, and they are wondering. And I know it. I've read the comments, I get the emails, and I've spoken to people. They do not know how they can go on. So, for those who really kind of think life is just a game or meaningless or whatever, well, I guess they don't care. I kind of took life seriously. I care. Let me know if you care. All links are below.